Well, we have an association that has 110 members across the country and with some of the leading uh, international players. We've been working with the utilities and with the coastal governments that have an interest. Ontario and Quebec are uh, looking at the hydrokinetic resources in the rivers. In British Columbia, for instance, you have a utility that's almost entirely hydro-based. Um, in Nova Scotia, they want to get off coal-based power. So they're looking around at what their opportunities are and, and tidal is one of the biggest resources they have available to them. Uh, and committing to feed-in tariffs for tidal that are adequate to make the projects go ahead. It's a fairly early stage at the moment. Uh, what we have is uh, a couple of uh, maybe two or three wave technologies that are at the point where they've been deployed and there is now a little bit of experience being accumulated. There are uh, no real commercially available technologies anywhere in the world which is why it makes it doubly interesting because this is about developing a new uh, energy resource uh, that has an opportunity for us to actually be part of the economic development of uh, a new energy uh, industry. One of the interesting things is this isn't going to be like wind. Uh, there are going to be different types of sizes of site or energy intensities that are actually going to take different technologies. So even in a mature industry in 30 years time, I think you're going to find a bigger variation than we would see when we look at the wind industry. In British Columbia, we've got 100 small sites, maybe five, an average of five megawatts, these sites. The Bay of Fundy uh, is likely to set the sort of world standard for large-scale tidal. Offshore Nova Scotia, Sable Island, We've got infrastructure there, we've got gas platforms and things like that. In the long term, maybe we will have wave uh, generation on the Atlantic coast, uh, but maybe not at the shoreline, it might be uh, further offshore. The best resource is probably the west coast, the western sides of uh, the continents get the best wave re regimes. And the holy grail in the very long term would be the Arctic, there's a massive resource in the Arctic. We've put a lot of effort into trying to convince people if you, if you create a marketplace, you'll create a supply chain, a delivery chain that will might make the right decisions, will grow an industry, drive down the price. Same industry can be developing competitive projects in, in 10 years' time. Um, the, so the feed-in tariff to create a market is an incredibly important signal. We also have to try to make sure that it's relatively easy for these projects to get permitted to get into the ocean. So strategic environmental research has to be done and things like that. But my next challenge, I think, is to, to work on the idea that we also need loan guarantees. We need something to attract the financiers into this sector.